Keith, I suppose, no way buttering that up. A disappointing night for your side. Uh, we lost the game in the first quarter. Um, we, we encouraged Galway um, on to us. We made too many mistakes, uh, some poor decision making. Uh, we gave the ball away in bad areas, and, and that gives them the impetus and, the, um, and it puts them on the front foot. You know, and uh, we can see from a from a from a throw in. Um, it doesn't doesn't matter how often you practice and prepare. You still have to stand up in those moments and and win those duels, win those aerial challenges. Um, I thought we did well outside of that. Um, after we can see the goal, but we, you know, listen, uh, we lost the game in the first quarter. Like I say, second half, much much better in terms of our performance. Had a lot of possession. Um, probably didn't work Brendan Clark enough in the in the second half. We did have some half cham chances, some moments, and uh, I suppose uh, if you if you look back at Podge's chance across the, uh, that hits the crossbar in in the first half, you know he probably connects with it too sweetly. In fact, um, you know, and it's probably one uh, once or twice. That it was probably the only time in the in the first half that we got the ball down. We we played a few passes and we got played forward. We got the ball into the box. Um, unfortunately, we didn't do enough. Yeah, you touched on that one that hit the crossbar. It was a big moment because it allowed Goey and gave oxygen to the crowd, didn't it? When it yeah. went straight down a counter attack, then. Yeah, and, and Podge connects with us really, really well. So it's unfortunate to come see it come back off the crossbar, crossbar from our perspective. But it probably summed up our first half a little bit that you know we encouraged Goey too too often, too early in the game. Um, you know, it gives them a lift, it gives them impetus, it gives the crowd a lift here, and. Uh, and we didn't defend a set play, so so we we got we got punished for that. Second half, you really tore into goal. It was a really exciting game, but you really created a lot of trouble both wings. I thought. Yeah, and and we're short bodies in terms of some of the players that were unavailable tonight for us. Um, Connor Evans comes in, puts in a, a good shift for us out of out of position. You, you know, so he puts in a good shift for the team. Uh, Bemi and Connor, uh, Bemi and Ruby comes off the bench. Connor Parsons is a threat. You know, Sam uh, Bellis coming off the bench, getting his first minutes for the club. So, um, hopefully, that will stand to the boys as we as we move forward. Like we plenty of the ball, plenty of territory, not really a huge amount of end product. Yeah, just felt you were waiting for one moment, and it just didn't seem to go your way tonight. Um, yeah, that that's that's probably a fair assessment of it. Y you know, we've been very good this year. Um, we've responded well to defeats in, the, in 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 previously. So, hopefully, we can do that next week. It's going to be a disappointing trip going home because I know you you touched on this at pace. Yeah, it must be so frustrating after all your practice on to get undone by one. It it is, but but God, we are excellent at it. You know, they're they're, they're um, you know, they're going to test you and question you at every opportunity when the when when those moments arise. So, um, you know, we felt actually in the build up to it, it was probably our throw the time before, which could have got us up the pitch, maybe led to a different scenario, but. We've got to defend those, those those moments better, like I say, and you know we didn't do enough to win the game tonight. Maybe we deserved our second half performance. We could have got something from the game, but like I said, we want to try and get a positive response from from tonight, and we've done that, that quite well this season so far. Thank you, uh, thank you, Kate. Okay. Cheers. Thanks. Thank